Coming up on Daily Iowan TV, we have the latest update on the Coral Ridge Mall shooting. Democratic presidential nominee Hillary Clinton came to Iowa this morning. And also an update on what's been happening in Hawkeye sports. All of this and more, Daily Iowan TV starts now. Good evening, I'm Alana Neal. Police released information Saturday on the victim of the Coral Ridge Mall shooting that took place Friday evening. 20-year-old Andrea Farrington, an Iowa's Children's Museum employee, was pronounced dead Friday night after being shot in the back multiple times. She was working at the Children's Museum when the shooting occurred. The shooter, 22-year-old Alexander Kozak, was a mall security employee. Witnesses reported Kozak fled from the scene after the shooting and was later taken into custody. Police have yet to release a motive for the shooting. However, Kozak has been charged with first-degree murder and is being held at the Muscatine County Jail on a $10 million bail. This morning, loved ones, co-workers, and family gathered at the Coral Ridge Mall to pay their respects to shooting victim Andrea Farrington. She worked at the Iowa's Children's Museum, which family said was her dream job. Farrington had been working there for about six months before her death. With teal hearts decorating the museum, the emotional gathering had a candlelight ceremony, prayer, and a moment for silence and remember, remembrance of Farrington's life and her impact on those who loved her. Hillary Clinton, one of the three Democratic presidential candidates, visited Iowa this morning to launch the Hillary for Iowa campaign. 600 people came out for the event, making it one of the largest she's held in Iowa since her announcement. She discussed trade agreements and wage gap and education. For more details on her visit, check out tomorrow's edition of The Daily Iowan. And now let's take a look at this week's weather. Brianna, what can we expect? Thanks, Alana. It looks like it's going to be a very hot and stormy week. You can expect thunderstorms and a high of 76 tomorrow. Tuesday will be slightly warmer at 80 and partly cloudy. The thunderstorms will return on Wednesday and Thursday with warm temperatures in the 80s. The sun will come out for a while on Friday, but expect rain again on Saturday. That's all the weather I have for you today. Back to you, Alana. History is most often taught in the classroom, but Thursday it was taught in the kitchen. The Old Capitol Museum hosted the Iowa Heritage Kiddo Cooking Class on the University of Iowa's campus. Local children were able to cook Native American recipes. Daily Iowans Yesenia Chavez was at the scene. It's not very often you mix strawberries, bison, and honey together for a meal, but that's just what the Iowa Heritage Kiddo Cooking Class did. Kids learned, prepped, and cooked a traditional Native American meal. We looked at several different um, people that had settled here in Iowa uh, when it was first a territory and then a state. And so today we wanted to honor the Native Americans, though, um, with their food traditions because they're very, very important. The UI track team competed in the NCAA finals in Oregon this past weekend. Seven UI athletes earned honorary awards. The Major League Baseball draft was also this weekend, and five Iowans were selected. And for Hawkeye baseball, senior Tyler Payton announced he will be returning to the UI for another season of baseball. That's all we have for you tonight on Daily Iowan TV. Be sure to tune in tomorrow evening for more of the latest news. Or you can check us out on YouTube by searching for Daily Iowan TV. Thanks for watching. Have a good night.